this week's episode of In the Know, a business news program covering tech companies founded by women. Each Friday, Sassy CEO brings you an update on the latest news so that you are in the know. So what happened this week? Let's take a look. Well, Illinois entrepreneurs got much needed help via two new laws the governor signed earlier this week. The Senate bill increases funding for startups via a public-private partnership between the state and the funding community, while the House bill grows the number of incubator programs offered via academic institutions. If you want to watch the signing ceremony, go to our site and you will find it under Illinois Tech Startups Get Added Support. What else happened? Well, I'm not sure if you heard, but Sprouter is actually closing its doors as of August 2nd. The Quora for Entrepreneurs, started by Sarah Previtt, just announced the news this week. We were sad to learn of it, and we wish her and her team all the best in their next endeavors. Looking for a cool new mobile app to play around with? Check out TaskRabbit. The site that helps individuals and small businesses in a community outsource their tasks and deliveries just created their first iPhone app. The app lets you post a task quickly by either saying, typing, or taking a picture of the task you want completed. I cannot wait to try it out. If you try it out, let us know your thoughts. Tweet us, post to Facebook, or send us a note. Let us know what you think of it. Would you recommend it? Ah, one of our favorite gals, Smarties, a finance management program that makes your daily personal finance decisions painless and fun, is really starting to gain some momentum, at least here in Chicago. This week, they were featured both in the Chicago Sun-Times and on ABC's Windy City Live. We're so excited for them. This is an awesome tool, really, to help you manage your personal finances. Check it out. I, the social realm heated up last week. Not sure if you heard, but Lolaps, a social gaming development company, recently merged its operations with Six Waves, a social gaming apps company, to become one of the largest social gaming networks. The agreement expands the new company's international reach, yet at the same time allows Six Waves and Lolaps to continue operating independently and to continue growing and focusing on game publishing and game development respectively. Sounds like a good idea, a very strategic idea, definitely. What do you think? Share your thoughts with us on Twitter, Facebook, and right here on our own page. And did you catch the news about my yearbook? The company started by a brother-sister team? Well, they were just bought out by Questpa, a Latin social network. Well, cool, a hundred million. Now, ladies, before you get too excited, that that's not a hundred million in cash exactly. It's about eighty-two million in Questpa common stock and eighteen million in cash. So, eighteen million in cash is nothing to be complaining about. What would I do with eighteen million? Hmm. I will say that it will be interesting to watch this group and see what they do next. Keep your eyes peeled. Speaking of money and funding, a couple of companies announced that they received some significant funding this week. The ones to take note of include Hearsay Social, an analytics tool that helps global brands manage their local social media pages. They raised $18 million in Series B funding, bringing their total amount raised to a cool $21 million. Wordnik, an online dictionary and language resource, secured $8 million in Series C funding. Cloudflare, a company that helps power and protect the entire web, received $20 million in Series B. Sci-Fi Works, a robotics startup with an emphasis on flying machines, received $1.2 million from an undisclosed source. And Effectiva, an emotion measurement and communications tech born out of MIT, 
received $5.7 million in Series B funding. Congratulations, ladies! We know that cash is going to come in handy, and we look forward to seeing how you use it. Speaking of cash, uh, you know, Sassy CEO is always looking for sponsors, so if you're interested, let us know. You can reach us on Twitter, Facebook, or on our own site. Finally, in other news, we are so proud of Social Katie as she continues to grow by leaps and bounds. In less than a year, her client roster has grown to 21, and she's added nine additional people, prompting her to move to a new space in River North. She tells us the space is huge and is in a super funky building with a rooftop lounge bar. Party? You just tell us when and where, and we'll be there, Katie. And finally, the Kaufman Foundation is calling on entrepreneurs to support its Startup Act proposal to Congress. The Act aims to increase job creation via boosting support for high-growth startups and young businesses. Take a look at their site to see what the Act all entails. And sign up. And now, you're in the know. Let us know your news. Tweet us, post to Facebook, or send us a quick note. We would love to share your news with the world. And now, you're in the know. And until next time, have a great weekend.